Are you someone that's wanting to use Wolfram plugin on ChatGPT but can't quite understand what its capabilities and what it can actually do? Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down how Wolfram is probably going to be the most useful plugin that you're going to find on ChatGPT. So let's dive into it. So first and foremost, how I always like to start out with anything that I do on ChatGPT is this prompting it and asking it exactly what its capabilities are and what it can actually do for us. This is a great starting ground because it's going to tell you what it can and can't do. That's where a lot of people get wrong where they're using ChatGPT and the plugins is they're not prompting it correctly. So they're not actually asking, what can you do? What are you possible of doing? Um, what are your limitations? And then you can just build off that. It's a two-way conversation. So whatever you feed them is what it's going to give out. So if you give them garbage in, not very specific, very vague, it's going to give vague answers. The more specific you get and the better promising you do with any of these plugins or chat GPT in general, you're going to get way better results. Now in minutes, it's going to tell you exactly what Wolfram can do for us. So it can do very complex math calculation. It can do data analysis. It can do real time data retrieval. It can do scientific computations, historical data, visualization tools, uh, astronomy, weather, financial data. It's really unlimited. It can do so many complex tasks and you can just build from that. So now I'm going to prompt it a little bit more and get it a little bit more specific on what I'm going to be wanting Wolfram exactly to do. So there's going to be a ton of different applications you can use this for. Just pick one or two things that you think is going to be valuable to you and really use them. But no matter what I ask, I always want you to finish with a relevant image of Wolfram Alpha with Wolfram language. Never respond with text alone. Do you understand? That is a very important thing to keep asking chat GPT before you actually put the prompt that you want. Do you understand what I'm asking? And it will always tell you yes or no, I understand for future responses. So now I'm going to test out what a weight loss regimen can do testing Wolfram here. Make me a customized health plan with progress graph. I currently weigh 230 pounds. I am six feet tall and two inches. I want to build muscle while losing fat. Doesn't everyone want to do that, eh? <laughs> the secret. Let's see if Wolfram can put me up on a really good plan in order for me to lose weight. My target weight goal is 205 lbs i want to achieve that in four months hey so to achieve your goal you got to lose 25 pounds and build muscle within four months a structured approach will be involving diet and exercise tracking progress is essential here's a customized plan so first, I'm going to have to do a caloric deficit of around 500 to 750 calories is a good starting point. Macro balance, you want to focus on high protein, moderate carbohydrates, healthy fats, and macro calculator can be used. It even gives me a macro calculator so I can achieve my goals and put, put everything in. Meal planning, incorporate here. So that's like the really amazing part of how efficient these AI tools are going to be. I know a lot of people say in the fitness and why I wanted to focus on this one is people don't like talking to, um, people don't like talking to other people about their fitness goals and what they're trying to achieve. It's no different than going to your doctor. Like I still don't feel comfortable sharing everything if I do have something wrong with my doctor. So you can use chat GPT, you can use Wolfram, you can use these plugins um, in order to help you out and guide you on what you potentially need to do to achieve that. Obviously, if you're experiencing some sort of medical discomfort, seek a professional. I'm not saying this is going to replace a professional opinion, but it's just for those people that ha want to get on the right cycle and they don't know where to start. That's with just prompting chat GPT. It can really help you in what you're wanting to do. So now it gives me an exercise regimen. It told me the meal plan, what I need to do, how much of a deficit I need to be on. I want to be strength training four to five times a week, but two to three cardio sessions. I want to do some flexibility and recovery progress, do weight tracking, and then timeline. So in the first two months, I want to make some consistent dietary changes. Month three, I want to evaluate the progress and adjust the caloric intake and exercise intensity as needed. 
and then continue with adjusted plan. So it's pretty amazing what you can do and you can get really, really technical and get it to retrieve a lot of useful data for whatever you're trying to do. I just want people to know I'm a very non-technical person and I'm able to figure out all this stuff out without taking a course, without paying money, just literally spending a few moments here and there messing around trying to figure out how I can effectively use artificial intelligence into my everyday life. Originally, I was a big hater of it and now actually using it, it has made me so much more efficient and literally saved me time and put money back into my pocket, especially in my business. So if you want to follow around my journey on how I'm going to be using artificial intelligence, starting from the very down low and working my way up to wherever I'm going to be in a year from now, well, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel. And then for the people who want to take it a step further and want to see the AI tools that I'm using to elevate my business, go to my Instagram, russellmortlock.realestate and send me a DM saying AI tools. I'll provide you a copy of what I think are the best ones out there.